And now we'll invite our youth and children forward. Is there time this morning? <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen, for all coming down. <laughs> awesome. Yes, awesome. Okay. I'll come this way. My card is occupied, so we have to adjust here. <laughs> occupied. All right. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Only one of us is awake. <laughs> At least wave. That doesn't require any communication too much. Morning, Seth. How are you? Good. All right. Well, we're going to talk about the Holy Spirit. Do you know anything about the Holy Spirit? All right, Carter, what do you know? Mm, that I think after the revelation or something, it was like, it wasn't so much in Hmm. But you've, you've heard of the Holy Spirit, right? RJ, what do you know? It's the Spirit of God. All right, Mr. Seth, is that a hand up or is that a, I'm thinking. You're thinking? Okay. Well, you know what? It's kind of, we all kind of have to think about the Holy Spirit a little bit. So we know God the Father, right? The Creator. We know Jesus the Son, our Savior. We talk about them all the time, so we, we know about them. But it's a little harder for us to think about the Holy Spirit. But it is part of God. We call it a triune God. All right, can you make a triangle for me with your fingers? Make a triangle. There you go. Make a triangle. So we have God the Father, Jesus the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So they are three parts to God. There are three parts to God. Each one does their own thing, but, and they're all equal, but they're still separate. So I have an egg for us to look at. How many parts in the egg? How many parts in the egg? Seth? How many parts in the egg? Hmm. Okay, how many parts? How many parts? Look at the picture up there. Three. Oh, three. All right, what are the three parts? The shell, the yolk, and the white. All right, three parts. So we have to have all three parts to have an egg. So we have three parts of our trinity. Make your triangle again for me. God the Father, Jesus the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Separate, but all together, just like the egg. Can't have one part without the others. Okay, so we're going to talk now about the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. And I have a box. <laughs> The box gets filled up with the Holy Spirit. Well, you are on the right track. So we're going to see what is in our box. All right. So we know that Jesus came to earth in a body like ours. And he died on the cross for our sins. And after a while, he went back to heaven. But he said, I am sending a helper. So you will not have to try to navigate all the things on earth by yourself. Because even though I will be back in heaven and you won't see me, you will have a helper. And the helper is our Holy Spirit. It's a special gift from God. So should we check out what's in our box? Nod once for yes, twice for no. Correct. All right. So first thing I have in my box is... A blanket. We're going to call it a blanket, okay? Or a throw. And what do we use a blanket or a throw for? RJ, what do we use it for? When you're cold. Yep, when you're cold. Okay, you want to go to sleep. Carter, what else do we use it for? Okay, we have those over there that are our prayer quilts. Yep, we could use it. So it's comforting, right? It gives us comfort. It's like getting a hug. It's like getting a hug. All right. So I like being under the blankets because it feels comfortable, and that is part of what the Holy Spirit does for us. It gives us comfort, and, know, and we know that we, he is right there. Okay, all right, next I have... Is that a Lego? 
It is. It's a 40, 40 watt light bulb. The, the <laughs> wattage doesn't, not 40 light bulbs. All right, Carter, what do you know about a, a light bulb? Jesus is our light. Jesus, Jesus is our light. Okay, how about, how is the Holy Spirit going to be light? How is the Holy Spirit going to help us? What do you think, RJ? Well, we just think of good out of space. Yes, we, the symbol is kind of the Holy Spirit. We think of fire, which is, is light, and we think of the dove. Carter, what do you think? Fills up dark spaces. Oh, I really like what you're, you're saying. So the Holy Spirit teaches us and guides us and helps us understand the Bible, God's Word. Have you ever had a hard time at school doing an assignment because you just didn't understand it? Yep. We've all been there. So the Holy Spirit helps and guides us to understand what God's message is from the Bible. All right, next thing I have... A charger. We got that one right away, right? Okay. What do we use this thing for? What do we use it for? Charge to charge our phones, our iPads, our tablets, all those things. What happens if they don't get charged? They die. They die. So we, we can't be connected. So how is this charger the Holy Spirit, like the Holy Spirit? RJ? Forgot. You forgot. All right, Seth, what do you want to say? It does charge us. It, it, you're right. right. Okay. It keeps us connected to the Holy Spirit, and we draw power from that. Correct? We draw power from that. Okay, now we know when Stacy's going to get tangled up in all these cords. We understand that, right? Okay. Tough one. All right, Seth, you got this one. Oh, I, paper. Miss Stacy forgot to put paper in there, so we'll skip that one. All right, let's go on. Go. You still got this one. Heart. What do you think? Loving. Loving. All right. So. It did. And I forgot to put that one in, but that's okay. All right. So in our heart, though, how does the heart, what does the heart have to do with the Holy Spirit? What do you think? What does the heart always have to do with? It's love. Okay. It represents love. And it's another thing that the Holy Spirit does for us. The Holy Spirit wants us to know how much God loves us and how we should love others. So I'm thankful that the Holy Spirit is here to help me to love others because sometimes on my own, eh, I'm not so good at it. So we do need help. Okay, one more thing in my box. I'll have to get paper in there for 1030. <laughs> Mouth, there we go. We will get there, okay? What would the mouth have to do with the Holy Spirit? And what, what is the mouth doing? What's the mouth doing? Smiling. Okay. What do you think? Either one. We use it for talking. To teach other people about the Holy Spirit and Jesus' love. What were you going to say? Okay, because we want to be filled not with, when, when we're filled with Holy Spirit and Jesus, that makes us happy. Seth, what do you want to say? It, it went away? That's okay, but you're still smiling. So you've received the... It shows our emotion. And when we come to church and we learn about Jesus and God and Holy Spirit, we hope that we are smiling in our hearts and that our face is smiling also so we can show us. We can show other people. So the Holy Spirit is the, also the power of God, and we get that as our helper. Let's read our Bible verse. The Holy Spirit and is my, my helper, helper and, and he, he will, will be, be with, with me, me forever. forever. John, John 14, 16. All right, let's say a little prayer about the Holy Spirit and power. You guys were awesome. Thanks so much for coming down. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you. Thank you. For sending us the Holy Spirit. For sending us the Holy Spirit. To be with us forever. To be with us forever. Thank you. Thank you. 
that your Holy Spirit, that your Holy Spirit teaches us, teaches us how to love each other, how to love each other, gives us the right words to say, gives us the right words to say, makes us brave, makes us brave, and gives us power, and gives us power to live a life that pleases you, to get live a life with you. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Thank you guys. You were awesome helpers. Good job. Thank you, Miss Stacy.